Congratulations, uh, Lola and Fionn on Dating Amber. I absolutely adored this movie. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. <laughs> it was just so funny and sweet and touching. And I absolutely thought that your characters of Eddie and Amber, they're brilliant. They really stay with you. They're both such strong personalities, obviously also very different though. I was wondering um, how kind of personally did you, uh, you know, relate to them? Were there certain personality traits that you could immediately relate to? Yeah, I think that like we we got to working on this was such a collaborative experience and we got to bring so much of ourselves to those characters and then also so much of Lola and I's actual friendship um, made its way into those uh, characters as well, which was For really sure. great. It's, usually you don't get to rehearse at all, but we were really lucky that we had like we had a, quite a lot of rehearsals mm -hmm. before we started. So, yeah, we got to bring so much of ourselves and then um and then we got to improv a lot as well, which is also something that is a real treat. But um, yeah, and that's yeah. all down to David, um, to Dave Free, and for you know building this world. And he, you know, he wrote the script, and he wasn't sort of married to anything, and you know was up for sort of trying things out. And yeah. it's a testament to him as a director, um, how collaborative it was. It was really, really lovely. Yeah, because I was going to ask um, just how collaborative it was with regards to like it's just it always feels so so authentic. Like it really captures growing up being a teenager so wonderfully, but also like 90s Ireland. I, I saw a bit of 90s Ireland myself and it just <laughs> it captured all that so well. So would you guys have ever kind of related, say your own life experiences, whether it was like kind of growing up in Ireland or just like, you know, experiences in your teenagehood and would that have been kind of incorporated into the script in any way as well? Yeah, there's so much. When we were, when we'd all go through the script, we, we'd all talk about moments that really, like first kisses and stuff like that are, are things that we absolutely talked about at length in yeah. the rehearsals. And, and um, yeah, I think we, we absolutely could bring, um, you know, our version of growing up in Ireland, mm -hmm. um, even though we didn't grow up particularly close to one another, we, we yeah. brought all of kind of our experiences to that. Also, the production designer, Emma Lowney, was so incredible that you really felt yeah. in every single set that you uh, stepped into, you really felt like you were in uh, Ireland in 1995. And it's really cool because, you know, as much as it's like so rooted there, it really is such a universal story. These mm. are themes that everybody can relate to, you know, and I think just everybody has that friend that they think back on as their platonic soulmate. Yeah. And the people around you that, you know, shape you and Dave who said that this is his love letter to the kids that needed to escape in order to be who they are. So we're just really glad that we got to be a part of it. It's so, it's so, so, like I said, beautifully, wonderfully done. Um, and I thought it really, I, I kind of considered it a dramedy really because like it really effectively balances the drama, you know, the poignant, the really kind of sad, touching moments with the comedy. It's very, very funny at times as well. Which aspect of that did you both prefer? Because you both kind of come from, you know, a background in having done both drama and comedy. Yeah, I think this, um... That's a good question. I it's hard. It's hard because they're both. I, I like the, the they're very. The, your approach to both are very different. Yeah. And I think I think that with um also when we rehearsed the way that we rehearsed everything was we'd focus on all the comedic stuff uh, because you can go through your comedic scenes and really mine through them and different things can be funny each time. Whereas we wanted to kind of save a lot of the heavier stuff um yeah. for the for the days um. Yeah. Yeah, but with comedy, there's sort of kind of there's beats that you have to hit, and and it's it's incredibly difficult. I think sometimes people think that that might be the easier part, and mm. actually sometimes it's the incredibly difficult part. But we were lucky. I think that me and Dave had a lot of the same sense of humor, and yeah. we're able to bounce off each other quite a lot. So you know, you can only give back what you get. So yeah, and it's also it's all it's all trust really as yeah. well. Like we all absolutely trusted one another, um, which made. It just made the whole set such a comfortable mm -hmm. environment. Right, right. Um, do either of you have a favourite scene that you shot? I think our favourite scene is the scene. Yeah, isn't I think it? so. There's a scene at a wall that's called the sex wall in the film oh. <laughs> uh, where we agree, uh, we basically agree that we're going to start this fake relationship. And it was, uh, and it was, it was just one of those things that we did it exactly the way it was written. We, and we never we, thought that that scene was, we never thought that the no, wall didn't, was going no. to be the funny part. Yeah, we didn't, yeah, we did. We never really looked at that as like something that was, 
we always thought the bit before where it's like, do you want the shift? Yes, I do. It was like the funny part of that scene. And then when we got to filming it, we, we got to improv loads and try loads of different things. And I think that became our favorite scene probably as well, because it was probably the most amount of our actual friendship, friendship <laughs> that like made it onto the, the screen, that back and forth. But yeah, I think that's probably, and if not that, I think my favorite scene, if not that one, is the montage with Lola and Lauren Canny um, to cut your bangs. Uh, their kind of, yeah, their montage is, is really beautiful. I think that would be my other favorite. Um, Fiona, I hope you don't mind me asking briefly about uh, normal people because between dating Amber and that, it's ended up just being such a big year for you. Have you been surprised at how big a success normal people has proven to be? Yeah, I think we're all really blown away by by the reaction. You know, like we, of course, hoped that we were going to um, make something good because we were all massive fans of the book and, um, you know, wanted to... Uh, to do it justice and uh, but I don't think anyone could have anticipated the reaction that it's had because yeah it's just been amazing um but yeah I feel so lucky to have been a part of that um uh, at all I just yeah I I, um, I remember like I was like I would literally walk in the deep deep background to, <laughs> to, to work with Lenny I'd do anything to do literally anything but uh but yeah no so I'm I for me actually the most exciting bit was getting cast. The most exciting bit was when I was told that I was going to be able to do it. And everything after that was just uh, icing on the cake. Were you ever kind of nervous to play a character like Jamie? Because he is kind of, he's quite a jerk to be honest with you. But like, are you ever yeah. kind of worried that like, you know, viewers at home aren't going to be able to like separate the fiction from the reality or anything like that? Yeah, I think that like, I. I think that actually only crossed my mind after the fact. I think it was when it came out and I saw all that stuff online. Uh, Lola very kindly uh, to, uh, or crushed any worries that I that I had about that. But I think um, He's a dope. you know, <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, like, I think with that, like, what's exciting for me is to play kind of as many different characters as possible and be able to um, play something that is against type. I don't think on paper, I would have been someone who people would expect for, for that role. So, um, no, I, I, I think, I, I guess I'll put it this way. I think that Eddie and Dating Amber is a very good redemption uh, yeah. from, uh, and it's a good departure from, uh, yeah, from Perfect Jamie. Timing. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And I'm excited to see as well, because like, you know, you see Connell's chain and Connell's like shorts have become a thing. I'm curious to see what becomes the thing for Jamie. Like apparently that cream, when you ask for cream, that's become kind of a deadly line now. And I'm wondering if like the wine glass break scene might end up becoming a thing. Yeah, I we we talked about maybe Jamie's quiff. He has quite a like, he has quite a pronounced uh, quiff hairstyle. So yeah. it, it could be, it could be that. I think, yeah, God, who... Who knows? Eddie's shorts. Eddie's Eddie's oh, working Eddie shorts. Some pretty they short could be shorts. a shoe in three Connells. <laughs> yeah, Eddie's... I'm I'm saying it first. I think Eddie's shorts might be the Connell shorts. Yeah, or the sweat band. <laughs> and the sweat band. Do you or, know? Or I think I think also like people talk about Marianne's bangs. I mean, like Amber's. Do you know? Well, it was funny yeah. because we were filming at the same time, and me and Daisy were like we're bang sisters. Do you yeah. know? We both we were like sisters and friends. <laughs> Amazing. Um, Lola, I wanted to ask you as well about A Bump Along the Way, which I saw um, last year. Oh, such another gorgeous um, Irish production to be involved in. What's it been like seeing that and Dating Amber come to life? Again, in a fairly like short you know, amount of time, you guys have all of these projects kind of kicking off, like really in tandem with each other. Yeah, I mean, I was incredibly lucky to be a part of that that wonderful team. Um, we're, we still have a WhatsApp group that's that's fairly active, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to sort out a Zoom sometime after all this craziness is over. Um, but it, it, it's just been lush. I mean, there's there's such amazing things happening at the minute in Ireland, and if this is the way that it is now, you can only imagine what it's going to be like in the future. And it just feels like a really lovely thing to be part of, and I'm very very blessed mm -hmm. and, and honoured that we're able to be a part of it. Um, another thing you guys have in common, which I just thought it was quite interesting over like the recent project you've done, is you've ended up playing teenagers quite a few times. And I was just wondering, is that ever kind of an awkward or like uncomfortable like headspace to go in? Or is there something like kind of almost fun about getting to be perpetually young? Yeah, well, I think I think it's I think for, for both of us, it's uh, 
we we love it. Like like I think that um, the, the, those characters uh, are never you'd never play age in in that way. Like you'd you'd never play to the age. And I, and I think that like it's it's a lot easier for someone older to play a teenager because um because you can look back at all those things retrospectively as opposed to when you're actually going through it as a teenager it's very hard to put those thoughts in in a, in a row but um but yeah i i i love i love that i love getting back in a school uniform yeah. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah yeah i think it's just like it's playing interesting characters um, yeah. and as long as the characters interest it doesn't really matter to me what age they are I suppose we both have baby faces, so as long as they keep giving us the jobs, I suppose we'll keep taking them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, God, I know. But it's funny actually because recently we've both gone, kind of gone like up and down with yeah. with with age. I mean, not that up. I don't think. Yeah, I've been talking about a couple of years here. But, yeah. <laughs> sure, it's only a good thing to look that young. So you guys are <laughs> lucky, I think. So guys, congratulations on the movie again, and thanks so much for taking out the time to speak with me. I cannot wait to see how Dating Amber does. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. It's been so lush. Thank Great. you. Thanks again. Bye. Bye.